I'm gonna do a, a caveat warning so that no one gets upset with us later. This is called a constant uh, current fixture. Had to do it in order to make it DC with low voltage wired. I did not want 120 you know, at each fixture and uh, not knowing where they're going in. We wanted something safe. But with constant voltage, you will get a little bit of step dimming on the lower end. It still dims beautifully, but it will stutter a little bit on the low end of the dimming curve. Um, Which is normal for <clears throat> any of these for a lot For a lot of lights, yeah. Well, this type, they all do. So we actually uh, had it engineered where it is the smoothest you're ever going to find in a constant voltage. There's also four settings that come within this controller for resolution. We have found that a low entry price mixer like, uh, what is this, Jacob? This is the DMX, DMX operator. operator. DMX operator will be respond better with one of the settings, but if you use, like when we use our, our CAMSYS, which is a high-end uh, lighting console, yes. a different setting on here, seriously smooth. So we let you pick what works better with your lighting console. Would those be called dimming curves? <coughs> dimming curves uh, and resolution because like right now, this is gorgeous. Yeah. It's not even doing at the very low end of stepping. But here's what's nice. Uh, very few people are going to dim over a 10 minute period. It's, yeah. it's, it's on and you bring your light off. On, your light is off. No big deal. And of course, you need different intensities within. You can dim to that. And once it's, you know, it works. It works great. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. What other light can you make work that has DMX control and is low voltage? You can't. Even the stuff they sell at Home Depot, they've still got some depth to them. Yep. And they don't dim pretty. They have that crazy stepping on the, the bottom end. Oh, and some of those lights, almost all of them actually, what happens is as you're dimming, you get down like 20%, it goes, boop, off. It just doesn't, yeah, it disappears. And then when you start dimming up, it will not power on until it has enough voltage to tell it it needs to come up and then it pops on. So it's not a, this is this is the perfect alternative at a price point that you can afford. If you're rich and you have tons of money, then you can go ahead and get the other one. Now is this, how does this compare to the zero to 10 that oh, I hear you complain whoa. about all the time? <laughs> zero to 10 volt dimming. Oh gosh, they still keep specking this stuff. What happened was, here, quick history, if you love history. Uh, within our, this is architectural. We live in this theatrical stage world. But in architectural lighting, you had uh, your, your traditional dimming, you know, massive dimmers, and you had incandescent lights. Well, what happened is all the energy uh, mumbo-jumbo uh, gurus started to say, we've got to save energy. And so they came up with fluorescent lighting. And then people said, I want the fluorescent lighting to dim. Sorry, we can't dim fluorescent lighting. And so they came up with zero to 10 volt, where you added some low, I know that was dumb. I'm just trying to figure out what the accent was. <laughs> what, what stupid people telling me, you can't have what you want, you know? So it's a so, stupid uh, accent. It's a stupid okay. accent. So they put zero to 10 volt dimming on fluorescence. So uh, here, I'm gonna do with hand motions the dimming. So it's 100%. My gosh, I came all the way down and still at 70%. Barely saw any dimming. Okay, now it's like at 40. It's off. Wait a minute. I still got this much fainter room. Okay, okay, it was lame. Is but, it choppy? Oh, what do you think? I don't, I don't, you know, <laughs> trying to read your choppy. mouth noises. But. Okay, <laughs> choppy. It was horrible. All right, but that's understandable because fluorescents were never meant to dim. Mm -hmm. So what happens? LED lights came along. Well, architects and, and engineers specking stuff out for years. If you're an engineer, forgive me, but it's the truth. You cut and paste from project to project to project. Instead of uh, researching what's new and best for your clients, I hope they learn Because it's this. easy. Yeah, they cut and paste. So what they did is they started going zero to 10 on LED. So you had this beautiful fixture that is able to do a zero to 100, 100 to zero uh, percent uh, dimming curve, gorgeous. Oh no, let's control it with zero to 10. So it's do, 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 off again. <laughs> and now you got DMX. So now you had to convert. So you had to go buy mm -hmm. a DMX to zero to 10 volt uh, relay. You have to have a relay. You know why I have to have a relay? Because when you do zero to 10, you go all the way down on the, on the low voltage. Mm -hmm. 
it doesn't turn off. It, it's like it's still electricity. It's still on. So at you tell it at, at a percentage to click off. That's why it just clicks off. Lame. So anyway, uh, DMX, all those lights, the expensive ones, you can also order them with DMX now. And DMX will give you that beautiful curve. So zero to ten. Ugh. So really, that can be a video on its own of why you don't want zero you to don't ten. Don't want zero to all. ten. Ever. Don't let your architects, don't let your designers, don't let them talk yeah. you into it. No, it, it will never dim. Nice. Oh, we have some churches that yeah. they didn't oh. heed our advice, and they're like, should and then listen end up spending you. a fortune. Yeah, we to have replaced redone. some some yeah. new lights. They had the money, and they were frustrated. We took out all new lights, put in uh, DMX dimmable lights. Uh, and it's a big so difference. Happy now. Yeah, it is a big difference. So, no, say no. It's like no to drugs. Say no to zero to ten. No, and that's our camera there. We keep looking here, but that's our camera there.